So I've got my approved voltage indicator out because I'm going to carry out the first live test which checks supply polarity. I'm going to prove this on my proving unit to check it's working correctly, but also I need to check it's the right instrument and also has the appropriate shrouds in place when thinking about AM2 and AM2S. Okay, so we can see those tips there are considerably less than the maximum under GS38 of four mil because this is obviously a live test. During the test, I will also prove it because it will go live, dead, live, live. It's actually self-checking the instrument, but I always like to keep the same practice. Whenever I'm using a voltage indicator, I start off by checking it on a proving unit and always finish by proving it on a proving unit that it's working. Even though you'll see through this sequence, actually it'll self-check it as well. So after inspection, I'm happy to use this and it's been checked. I'm first of all gonna check between the protective conductor and L1, L2 and L3. Then I'm gonna test between the protective conductor and neutral. Then I'm gonna test between the neutral and L1, L2 and L3 and then between our line conductors. So least dangerous conductor first, being our earthing conductor and then onto L1. You can see the voltage there. Off L1 and onto L2. Off L2 and onto L3. Off L3 and there we go, that's the first one. The next one, I'm gonna test between the protective conductor and neutral, the least dangerous conductor first being the earthing conductor here and the neutral. You see we get a beep. That's a continuity beep with no voltage on the instrument. The reason being the neutral and the earthing conductor are connected below, as this is a TNCS system. They're connected together, you get the continuity beep for that reason. Next, I'm gonna check between neutral and L1. Least dangerous conductor being neutral, and we go on to L1. Off L1, onto L2. Off L2 and onto L3. And then off L3, and then off our neutral. What to be careful now is when I probe in, I know these are all live conductors, so I've got to be very careful. I'm going to probe in, once I probe in, this tip will become live on the other end. Therefore, I'm going to keep my tips very close to the area in which I need them and not having this one waving around. So I'm going to do between L1 and L2. So we've got about 412 volts. I'm going to come off those. I'm going to now check between L1 and L3. Again, about 411 volts. And I'm going to come off and check between L2 and then L3 and I've got 417 volts and then I'm off. So I've checked those. I'm still gonna check this again on my proving unit just because that's the practice that I do. But you saw clearly this went live, dead, live, live, and self-check the instrument as well.